Hi friends and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. I've been away for a while, but I am back and I'm back with more YouTube tutorials you're going to enjoy about KeyClock. And today I'm going to be talking about how to install KeyClock using HempChat. And um, before I start, I would want you to go on this page on GitHub where you can download this file. I already have it downloaded and it's in my root folder. So you can see, um, yeah, I need to remove the last dot. Right, so I have this and I have this sourced in my ZSHRC. So you can do the same for your bash RC or your bash profile or your ZSH profile. You know, so you can also see CSHRC. Then I grab um, cube, uh, cube CTL. And you can see I have it sourced, right? So mainly if I type K, you should know that K is equal to cube CTL, right? Exactly. That's the alias. So K, right? So we are gonna be looking at two main sites, which is the Artifact Hub and then the the um, documentation for him. So to start with, we go to the Artifact Hub. So if you want to install any artifact, you can search for the artifact here. So I'm looking for KeyClock, KeyClock um, chat. And I have so many charts available, but I go with the one with the most stars, right? So this is it. And it shows you how to install, right? Hem install, then the name of the chart, and then um, some repository, right? Or the registry. And you can, you can read more on these things. You can create secrets, you know, you can um change the configurations you can see the default image and yeah pretty much there's a lot you can you can learn here right but right so the first thing we are going to be doing is to add the repo right so we're gonna add the bitsnami repo so get repo add and the name so you can put in place of this placeholder in a name, but I'm going to use Bitnami. And then the URL is um, this one, Bitnami chats, chats.bitnami.com slash Bitnami. And then you can try and repo LS to check the list of repository you've added. And then you can check, you can search um, the repo and once you search the repo, it shows you all the chats available in your repository, right? Um, mainly concerned with the key cloak chat. So I grabbed that and I then spell key cloak well. So key cloak. And I see my key cloak version available, right? Which is this one, right? As you can see, chat version and app version. So chat version is this one. So yeah so now i can also check the key look templates so i can say benami which is the repo name i added slash key cloak. and i can view this little by little i'm not sure if i type the right name so templates templates key cloak okay um template key cloak and i see all the templates right now to to be able to download i need to pull right so hem pull and then um i type the repo name which is bitnami slash the chat's name which is key cloak and then I can choose to untie or not. So if I want to untie, I use untie. Right. 
so I can see the, I can check my desktop and I have it there. So I see the into it and I open it. And now this is a good way of reading the documentation. So I'm gonna read this. You can read this. And then um, just documented nicely. So you can read and know what every parameter does if you want to override some parameter. And you can look at the dependencies as well. We have Postgres in the chats section. And it's a dependency because Keycloud uses uses a um, database, right? So you can choose to use Postgres, you can choose to use MySQL, and there are ways to configure it, right? So um, yeah, so mostly there's a global, there's auth, there's username and password, there's database. So these are the things we're gonna be changing, right? So I'm gonna attach values hyphen dev YAML, and then I'm going to override a few of the values and then we can install them, right? I'm gonna go with a global first, and then I'm gonna change Postgres QL and auth and then I'll change the username. Username, I'm gonna give it, uh, um, I'm gonna give it BTN key look, and then a password, I'm gonna give it same thing. And then database, I'm gonna give it this. So database, this, right. And then now, Keep look admin password. I need to change admin password. So admin user. So you go to auth and then you can read more about the credentials here actually. So we can copy this link and then read here. Right. Right, these are the things you can change. I'm not gonna bore you with all these things, but we can just change this and then say admin. And then we change the admin password as well and say password. And then now I'm going to also override PostgreSQL and put enabled to be true and then auth, auth username to be to be BT and key look and then password to be BT and key look and I'm going to maintain database to be the same thing. So this is all I'm gonna do. And then I'm going to install my hem chat now. So hem install, and then I give it a name, key cloak, and the repo name, which is bitnami, and then hyphen the chat name, which is key cloak. And then I have minus F, and then I can put the value that I overwrote, which is I, 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 I created, which is this one. So, and then it's gonna install. It takes a while to install. So you can basically k get SVC to see your services and k get ports to see your ports, but it's gonna take a while for this to install. And you can k describe any of your port. So k describe port, uh, let's check. PostgreSQL, and as you can see, it's still not ready, container not ready, so let's wait for a while. But then you get to see all the flags in your the environment variables as well. There are a few things you can find when you describe your port. So okay, get parts again, and we have Postgres running, but keep look, it's not ready yet, so let's take our time for it to run. 
Right. So whilst we wait for it to to run, we can look at the hem charts for Postgres. We can even connect if we have PG admin installed, you can connect to check the schema of um, Keycloak, how it looks like and all that. But that probably will be for another session. I didn't plan that for this session. So let's key get parts again and everything is running. So let's key get SVC when we see our services. So I'm just gonna put forward my service key cloak, but you can also put forward the, the pod, of course. So K okay, put forward, you can check my alias. K okay, put forward, which is for put forward. And so I just type KPF and then I'm going to type SVC because it's the SVC and I'm going to use the service name, not a pod name because yeah. And then I forward to 8,000 and then I point to this 80, right? And then I have key cloak running locally. I can go on port 8,000. And then I, I put in my credentials, admin, admin. Eight thousand. Sorry. Then I can put my credentials. So admin, admin, and then I'm logged in. Right. So this is all it is. In my next session, I'm going to be talking about how to connect to Keycloak using Node.js. So stay tuned. Subscribe and like my channel. See you in the next the next tutorial. Bye.